most Canadians aren't aware of what sex trafficking is or that it occurs in their country, let alone that Ontario has the highest levels of trafficking in Canada. 47% of the trafficking population are aged 18 to 24 and more than half are Aboriginals and the other half are Canadian citizens. As stated on the ONWA, sex trafficking is an umbrella term that includes prostitution, pornography, exotic dancing, stripping, live sex shows, mail order brides, military prostitution, and sexual tourism. Sex trafficking is the fastest growing organized crime in the world, creating an annual income of $99 billion a year. When pimps are hunting for their next victim, they try and find vulnerable, isolated, and young girls aged 13 to 15. Contact can be made in person, set up arrangements, or most likely online through social media. Once the girl shows a spark of interest or vulnerable qualities, the pimp promises to be her boyfriend and can offer her a better life than the one she has. The pimp showers the girls in gifts and drugs, only asking her to sell her body in repayment. He establishes control by inducing violence, complete physical and emotional control of the victim and the rest of his stable. A single girl can make between $168,000 to $336,000 a year. Aboriginals have a higher risk of being exposed to sex trafficking world due to unstable communities. Having suffered through or watched someone go through intergenerational trauma has made for a rougher lifestyle for the Aboriginal Canadians. In most situations, girls are doing what they can to support themselves by traveling far distances to get an education, away from families and losing safety, making it easier to be picked up by a pimp. Many government and non-governmental groups are increasing the awareness to the public and creating more opportunities for the victims such as safe homes and hospitals and independently run like Deborah's Gate. These homes offer rehabilitation, employment training, transition programs and education. To ensure sex trafficking is an issue of the past, all Canadians must become involved and start reporting suspicious behaviour to police or officials and become more involved and supporting of your own son or daughter's young lives to prevent them from growing up unhappy and seeking out the sex trafficking.